Origin 9.1 introduces a new axis dialog with a tree-like structure. In this tutorial, we will show you how the axis tree is organized, how to use the dialog, and the benefits of the new dialog. As before, both axis line and tick labels are selectable, and depending on where you double-click, the corresponding node of the axis opens. For example, here the bottom page under tick labels opens. Double-click the axis to open the x-axis scale page. There is an axis tree on the left panel. For Cartesian coordinates, there are two main nodes, the x-axis and y-axis node. Each has subnodes underneath. These subnodes, tick labels, titles, line and ticks, and special ticks, have further subnodes underneath them for each direction. Origin supports separate controls for opposing axes. For example, you can separately customize the bottom and top x-axes. There are checkboxes on such nodes to turn the display for each on or off. You can also choose to use the same settings on both axes by using the top checkbox. You can use the break and grids nodes to add and customize axis breaks and major and minor grids. Let's use the checkboxes on the main y-axis node to turn on the right axis. Selecting this box and clicking Apply turns on lines and ticks, titles, and tick label nodes under the Y-axis main node by default. We can then go to Titles and turn off the right axis title by deselecting this box. Axis scales and tick controls are on the scale node. Let's go to the X-axis scale node and change the from and to values. Set the increment to 10 years and click apply to see the changes. Now let's go to bottom under tick labels to customize the tick labels. Change the display to show only the year. We can also customize the color, rotation, font, and size. Minor tick labels are also controlled here. If we want to turn on tick labels for the top X axis, we return to the tick labels main node and select this checkbox. The tick labels have the initial settings before customization. A new feature in 9.1 is that if you want the top and bottom axes to have the same settings, you can use the Use Same Options for Bottom and Top Axes checkbox. Now let's talk about another new feature in 9.1. Select Others allows you to select corresponding nodes in the other direction so you can customize two nodes together. For example, with the tick label's bottom node selected, click the Select Others button. It will select the left node of the y-axis. Settings are cross-hatched when they are not the same for two selected nodes. In this case, we do not select the display settings as the y-axis tick labels and x-axis tick labels were date and numeric and we want to keep them as before. However, we select in color, font, and font size so that the settings are the same for both the tick labels. Let's show some more examples using this feature. On the x-axis grids page, click Select Others and enable the major and minor grid lines. Similarly, on the line and ticks bottom page, click Select Others and set major and minor ticks to be in. We will now customize the y-axis scale. Set the to and from and change the type to log 10. Besides select others to select matching nodes in both directions, you can also hold down control and select multiple nodes on the same level in any direction and customize them all together. Here we hold on control and select the left and right under the y-axis tick label node. Set the display as scientific, the color is green, and click apply. We can change the font and font size of all the axes using the same method. Hold on control and select bottom and top under the x-axis tick labels node as well. Let's change the font size and the font. The last customization we make is to complete the frame around the graph by enabling the lines and ticks of the top x-axis. Use this checkbox here and then go to the top node underneath this node and set the ticks as in for both major and minor. This completes our customization for this graph.
Besides select others, we have also added a node called apply to others where you can apply some tick label, line and tick, and grid line settings from one axis to other axes or even graph windows. For example, let's apply the bottom tick label color settings to the left and right axis in the same graph. Right click bottom and select apply to others. The apply from drop down is set to bottom by default and there are many options under apply to. Select left and right. Since we want to apply the same color to left and right, we check the color checkbox. We leave the drop down that appears at its default, which is this layer, and click apply. The same way we can apply grid line style from the bottom to only left axes in other graphs in this folder. Set apply to as left. Then check the grid line box down here. Use this drop down to select all windows in this folder and then click apply. This applies the grid line settings to the other graphs in this folder. Thank you for watching. For more video tutorials, please visit us at our website.